Hey guys, we're doing a 4th of July front porch cleanup. And then I'm gonna paint the door. Right here on my take on home and garden. Look at this concrete. <laughs> we're gonna pressure wash and get this all cleaned up and changed out. Folks, we're cooking with gas now. I can do my 4th of July cleanup and makeover. Take care of that honeydew list. Oh boy. How many of you have one out there? <laughs> now I like to take this little cutting in finishing brush You've seen these before. I'll link everything we use in the description box. With a little rubber, rubberized handle. And I'll tell you, I can cut in and trim a whole house with this one brush. Keep it clean. That's all you gotta do. So, I'm gonna cut in. Look at this, no tape. If you can see it. No tape. You push it in there and let the brush bristle tips do the work. If you have to go back, who cares? You just want those tips next to the glass. And if you get a little on it, you just get it off with your rag. So I'm going to do a little bit of painting. And in this panel area, I'm going to want to use my brush because those curves are really deep. And we'll catch it up with the roller anyway, and we'll make those brush marks go away with the roller. That concrete looks a little different now that I pressure washed. And down here I notice I sound like I'm in a tuna can. Watch how fast with this little mini roller. I told you about this corner roller before where the end has bristles and material on it as well. Really does a job quick. Now this drain I just paint the house with a lighter, much lighter green. And I wanted to color coordinate this better. Anyway, I've had that color front door for quite a while. And I don't care who you are, you're going to put two coats on to make it look nice. Alrighty guys, 
there is our new just about finished door. Some of it's got a second coat. More of it's going to have to get that second done. Just wanted you to see. Okay folks, we like to do a little something for 4th of July and being a patriot. We don't do a ton. Here comes the rain. But I'd like to do something. Luckily, I got the front door painted and it's undercover to a point. Alrighty guys, obviously we're in the shop and I've got two pieces of this ribbon total Americana Real cool. Kind of a heavy cotton and a wire edge on both sides. So I'm going to take this magnolia wreath that I always use at Christmas time. You know, it's handy because it's blank. You guys know. And I'm going to make just a quick 4th of July wreath out of it. You guys remember my bows from Christmas, probably. Not too bad. You want to get half of this. Okay, so I want to bring the two ends together. I want to find the half point and bend it over right there at the end and go back. And I'm going to do that again and come back. Okay. Go to the end. Now I'm getting to where I got to pay attention because I'm going to run out. So that's all I can use. I need the rest of the what I'll call a tail. Okay. And we'll go the opposite way with both of these. Come all the way around with both. Like this. And tie a bow tie. Right in the middle. Pretty snug so it'll stay. Another square knot. That's all it is. Square knot, like tying your shoe. Let them fall to together on one side and it's even better if they're not exactly the same. Okay, so that's a plus. Then we're going to open these pieces on the end like this. Just open that up and very soon you're going to see what well, looks like a bow and it costs nothing because we bought this last year and we use it in a different way if you recall okay now that's rough obviously roughly open the next thing is to get it on the wreath and we got the long piece. So we're going to go around. We're going to utilize that branch right there. Okay, and we're going to come up and tie this again on the, the wreath. 
and then a square knot again. Okay guys, we're gonna hang that on the front door. Then we'll probably tweak it a little more out there. Alrighty now, we're trying to finish this video. This is the ninth day it's rained. <laughs> so we're working in between the rain and you know we want to give a shout out to Lillian Nunez. Hi Lillian and Charlotte Jones. She's been with us from probably the beginning. And Callie Hernandez from the Bahamas. Hey girls, keep up the good work. <laughs> they hardly, I don't think they miss a show. Also, Helen from Athens, Greece. Just a wonderful person. Thank you, Helen. Alrighty, we're gonna have that last look around. So folks, if you liked our video today, happy 4th of July. All around the world, and happy summer. Red, white, and blue, it's for you too. Take care now. Give us a like, a share, a comment. Check us out on Instagram. Send over beans and weenies. <laughs> Send over Uncle Frank. <laughs> we'll have two francs going. Thanks, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in the next over the top, helpful, decorative, informative decor video. <laughs>